Okay. <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening to you. Kings and queens, gods and goddesses, good evening. I greet you all. All right, my topic today is um, different kinds of spirits. Greetings, Yuzanwaka. My topic today is different kinds of spirits. You know, some may be tempted to are there good spirits, are there bad spirits? Yeah, there are good and bad spirits, there are good and bad energies. Otherwise, we won't have a tran or rap and all that. There are good and bad, it depends because even someone with a good vibe can give off negative vibe. Even greeting Sami divinity. Even one with a good spirit can give off negative spirits sometimes. So I want to talk about different kinds of spirits. Uh, before I go on, I'll call out my phone number, which is plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six. So talking about different kinds of spirits, more. <clears throat> do we have good spirits and evil spirits i know we've grown to start using the word demons that's whenever there is a bad spirit is a demon okay well that is that is good that is that is a good word to use whether good or bad now calling somebody because uh, calling every spirit a calling somebody a demon is like oh uh, let me find something that we can all relate to. Thank you for sharing this live, Ade. When someone behaves in a certain way, you say, oh, we are our job model. It's character relative on how that person is behaving. Hey, oh yeah, we are model. Oh yeah, model. Yes, that person is a human being. Oh, this person is a good person. Oh, that person is a bad person. But the, the, the whole, the conclusion of the whole matter is that we are talking about a person. So that's the same way you can use demon to qualify spirits, whether good or bad. Yes, we have. Now, when you go to the etymology of the word demon, you will find out that it's actually not a, just, it is not um, limited to bad spirits. Greetings, Odogun. Greetings, E.K. De Michael. It is not limited to bad spirits alone. Because when you go down to the etymology, you find out it's a Greek word called daemon, meaning deity. Now, moon, that is the moon, deities of the moon. Now, what one would want to, want to argue, okay, now, day, meaning deity, meaning the supernatural. Can you see that? And when you add moon to it, it becomes of the moon. Now, these particular energies have where they come from, you know? The moon, with its relationship with the water, it goes up, it goes down. It comes to the middle, it gets bigger. It fluctuates. Same way the water easily picks up energies. Greetings, love. Sweet baby, greetings. Same way you easily pick up, water easily pick up things. That is the same way the moon easily pick up energies. The moon energy can actually mess certain people up. Now, I don't know if you've noticed anything. Hmm? If you've noticed anything in your spirituality or as a water child or as anybody in relation, in relation, in relation to any spirits, if you've noticed that during the full moon, this is what the full moon does. Whatever you're feeling, it amplifies it for you. Does it make the moon bad? No. Whatever you're feeling, it amplifies it for you. If during the full moon you're jealous of somebody, jealousy will increase. If you're such a bad person, you might even think of killing the person. That is what the full moon can do. If during the full moon, you are in love with somebody, the full moon can amplify that love to the highest. That is what the full moon it, <coughs> it amplifies what you already have. If you were already. If you're filled with hatred, during full moon, the full moon will amplify the hatred inside of you. If you are filled with positive energy, 
So that's why you should be careful who is handling your moon, moon, full moon ritual. If you are filled with positive energy, the full moon will amplify your positivity and manifest things for you. If you are filled with negativity, it will amplify it for you. If you are filled with love, it will amplify it for you. That is what it does. It is an amplifier. It brings to fullness what you already have inside. It does not give you, if you are honey, it will amplify the honeyness. It amplifies what you already have. It does not introduce a new energy to you. Ibu no mari to amplify the obu mari in you. Did it make you bad? No, it's just there being natural. You have something, you just multiplied it. Because you're one with that energy. Now, does it make the moon bad? No, the bad person is the person who has all that energy. Or, or not, depending on the energy you have. If you're sad, your sadness will be amplified. If you're unhappy, your happiness will be amplified. That is the way it works. Being an amplifier. Now we have different kinds of spirits. I know we might wonder whether we have good spirits and bad spirits. Yes, we have good depending on where you're operating from. Yes, we have good spirits and bad spirits. One of the reasons, one of the major reasons, I have nothing to do with any ROC. Or maybe when you come to my place, you will not see ROC. Is that most times, most arrows says that there can be negative spirits under contracts. And as in Oyana, let, let me not say Wensu, but that's he who wants to eat with the devil. If you want to dine with the devil, you have to use a long spoon. You want to buy hand bead, you will need to chat about it. I have different kinds of hand beads, so you chat on WhatsApp about that. And this video is about teaching. Okay, sweet baby. As Noyana, when you're eating with the enemy, use a long spoon. Now, most of the time, people go out there and they see spirits, they see roaming spirits, and they feel like they can enter into a deal with these spirits. And they bring them home and start feeding them something. <laughs> it's like a peaceful dog. The day you offend it, or the day you turn around, or you stop giving it what you're giving, what you agreed to turn around and start picking on your family members. That is how you hear incantations like a woman on Bosnona at the The one that kills one, the day where life sweets past you, and that day you just uproot you. That spirit that you brought together, instituted it, had a deal, had a contract with it. I'll be giving you this, I'll be giving you that. Have you thought, do you think you have it under control? What if, if it decides to go rogue? What if it decides to go rogue? Go after you and your family. You bring in things into your home. You don't know anything about it. You call on spirits, you beckon on spirits, you don't even know how to send it back. You just call on spirits, do this for you, do this, do that for you. And then, do you know why most times when I give out rituals, I give out controlled rituals, and I tell you, just tap into it because I've already done what I need to do. Because it is not in your place to call out, call up spirits you're not familiar with, except your chi. Your ancestors aside that it is not in your place if I tell you to use a particular hub and I say okay I've already said everything that needs to be said you don't need to say anything just use it and come back with testimony you're going to use it you're going to come back with those testimonies because I've done what needs to be done certain hubs that have the power to heal and do certain things also have the power to kill and cause havoc You see, clove. Clove has the tendency to cure so many ailments 
help you in so many ways. It also have the tendency to make you bleed to death. Think about it. We are talking about I'm talking about physical attributes now. Think about snake bites. Has a tendency to kill you. But do you know that snake venoms are extracted to use in medicine, ancient medicine, to heal, but it can also kill. The same venom applied differently. What is the difference in the application? When this snake is biting you, it is filled with hatred. It is trying to defend itself. But when a healer <coughs> extracts it, use it, they are using it with intention to heal. It's about intention. You should be very careful the intentions you use to work with spirits or go towards spirits. If you're unsure, please do not approach. Sometimes they do not understand jokes. I remember the story of this woman that was like, she, she hasn't had a child in years. And she, and she was like, hey, even if God, even if he's a deaf and dumb, even if he's a blind, even if he's a crippled, that she will be happy. She had the first one deaf and dumb, second one blind, third one crippled. She did this. The energy she's putting out there, the spirits did not understand that she's talking about she wants a she just wants a child badly. Not that she wants a crippled, not that she wanted a deaf and dumb, not that she wanted a blind. No, it's just a, a desperate woman. But then these people, most of the time, they know they understand joke. Most of the time they take things literally. Before you can start joking with any spirit, you should know the level of your relationship with that spirit. Are there good spirits? Are there bad spirits? Yes, there are good spirits and bad spirits. Depending on the one possessing you. Are they all part of Chuku? Yes, they are all part of Chuku. Because everything is in polarity. The polarity. Eh, polarity. Everything. Is in polarity everything has two sides everything that has a good side has a bad side me that I'm talking to you I have my good side I have my bad side we all have our good side and bad side nobody's good throughout but nobody's bad throughout but we just strive to make our good outweigh the bad in us greetings Okoye gifts Rao Edwin Lingy Mercy, greetings to you all. Lara, I'm not doing reading today. I'm teaching. It's strictly teaching. Okay? It's strictly teaching. Please help me and sh <laughs> help me and share this video. I said it before. It's for those on Facebook, not on TikTok. For those that share my video, I observe. And I've decided that every month I'm going to reward the highest sharer. Every month I'm going to do that. As we become a ritual, I'll be doing every month. Just a way to encourage us. It is not easy to follow somebody and be sharing the person's video. It's not easy. It's not easy. You're doing that with data. I'm doing you, you sharing is a way of helping me reach a wider audience. Because a whole lot of people are looking for these teachings, looking for this information in different places. And you're helping by bringing it to them. When you share it, someone sees something they are looking for. So that is why I'm going to reward the highest sharer every month. So it is not easy. Some people are on my page today because someone shared my video on their timeline. And they saw it and this is what they were looking for. And they followed So that's why I encourage sharing. Let it be a way you help me pass the message. Let it be a way you help me pass the message. All right. Yes, like Yang and Yang. We all have our good sides. We all have our bad sides. 
same with spirit. Just like when you say fire is a good servant but a very bad master. That same fire you are using to cook can turn around to burn your house, raise your house to the ground. Does it make the fire bad? No, it's only being fire. It's only being natural. Something triggered it to act that way. Now, there are spirits that can actually possess people. They possess people to do so many mundane things. They can turn someone to a Roma. They become a drunk. They won't do anything good, anything useful with their money. Anytime they see money in their hand, they use it to, to, they use it to drink. And they cannot control it. They cannot control it. And it happens when such a person has issues in the spirit. Maybe I will play a more accurately. So that it will be eating something in, in that person's body. For some people, they get money, but what do they do with it? Every time they die, shower joints. Every night, they cannot stop. They cannot control it. For some people, it turn them to thieves. I mean, when um, when Eliza can then gland, oh, you she can't wear more kalgalini anime. She's possessed by that is why she steals stupid, stupid things. Not as if they need that, you know. She will enter swamp. She will steal one shoe, one leg of shoe. She never will steal the two legs. She will thief only one. And I invented a very fine, beautiful, sexy word for it: kleptomaniac. They call it kleptomaniac, and then she goes about, she will steal toothpaste, steal toothbrush, steal this one. People will fall and for bad go they pay. Her satisfaction is in the stealing. No be she they do. You have some of you, you have that issue. Some of you have that issue. You say, eh, every time African people they are suffering, every time they are this, they say it's because of what they did in the past. Eh, all these people that did this one, eh, Eliza them, everything they did, they are still prospering. Manakuruyoshi, Moshi no ani mone zui heni no nezu. She was stealing. Uzuru shina gahari mo kiri kiri things that she can easily afford. There are some ladies on emeha. There are some men on emeha. When they enter places, they try to start stealing things. When you check deep down, they don't need those things they are stealing. But it's just that spirit, it will not allow them. For some men or women, they Their libido is on a high. They are raised around And it's because of a low level spirit that has possessed them. That has possessed them. Some of them even go as far as maybe raping little children. They do all manner of things. Exploit little children or, or men or women around them and do all that. We're more by a The spirits possessing them. And before any spirits possess you, before any spirits possess you, know that there is something about something you share in common with them. Before any spirits possess you, know that there is something you share in common with them. They'll only come to amplify what you already are. Let me give you an instance. At least I know you wash it before Moshe by him. He didn't have Zuru no boda wash it. I'm saying it in Igbo because I told my I don't want anybody flagging my they've been flagging all my videos recently. On a Zubugoshi, before Moshi Maka Goloshi by an Igbo, because this is with any way she. Diamond do need a Hazuru in Africa, my God do need a Zuruba. On a Zubugoshi before. I'll give you a case also in the Bible. 
Judas is carrying out only all your way you call Bubu before. Oh, yeah, like it, they got that be they got that you will go. I am a room boy, a rare master. He was able to do it. A spirit possessed him to do that. Is why when he finished, he regretted his actions. You must have something in common for that spirit to even come in the first place. There is something, there has to be a loophole. Because ordinarily spirits, they know they possess human beings, possess people around there without permission. You must have permitted it with your lifestyle or with what you were doing for that spirit to be able to enter. You left a loophole. You left something open. You gave the platform for that spirit to come in. No spirit really comes in without being invited. There is a level of inv invitation. It can be from your lifestyle, it can be from your utterances, it can be from the energy you're giving off. And I feel like, oh, we can have a feast here. And he make it here, make it here. It will get to the or where by any me. Stay away from places where they are doing um, mob action, where they are lynching people. You don't know the spirits that possess that person. The moment that person is dead, you are not the person no longer a viable host. They are looking for the next viable host. And if you are available to enter, Joanne is just an allegory. Joanne Daniels, that's an allegory. You can check it. I needed the story to explain something to you. So we need to be careful the kind of spirits or the kind of rituals you do when they tell you call this one call spirits you're not familiar with you need to be very careful you can open your door to spirits you don't know there are times that portals open and spirits they come in they're trooping and then they still go that's why the only thing i advise you to do each time there are such openings and I notice them and I'm opportune to make videos. I ask you, just drop drinks. You did not invite anybody. If the good ones come, they can come, take the drinks you offered and go and do something good for you. The bad ones come, they can still come, maybe take away something that has already been, been dead and dropped before because of your offering and they take it and go. Instead of inviting spirits that I don't know how to send back, Day your day. If you're not a Marocarege, what you don't know is bigger than you. There are good and bad spirits. A bad spirit possession can cause someone to lie for nothing, like they lie for nothing. You don't ask them anything, no. But every time they want to manufacture a story and just tell you. All lies. Ashe ashe mbo wona. Something when you don't ask them, they will manufacture it and they will tell you. Ask them about the story again, they don't remember anything. They don't. There is a, a reason when I said if you're killing any animal, maybe for your ancestors or to your, maybe you want to do salaka or anything. Who is there? You did what? My egg. Okay, thank you. You have egg for me? Uh, okay, keep it for me. I'll come and take it. I'm, I'm busy now. I lock my door. Those. What is this? You lock that, you still enter trouble. Cancel. 
Okay. I said I will come and take the egg later. Okay. Give it to your mommy. Mommy. You know go. Tell her I will eat it later. Hmm. I have, I have militants at home. Now, the reason I said, if you're offering any animal, maybe each may saraka, maybe for your own each year and all that, he may pan, open the ground. Add the blood, cover it. When you call the people you're celebrating, you cover the blood. Muchia. You leave it open and all those blood react violently with the sun. <laughs> Greetings from Nigeria, Fabi. I'm in Nigeria with you. Greetings to you too. Cover it. It reacts violently and then those spirits that are, that are interested in those glow level because when you are killing let me tell you the truth whether you like it or not whether you're killing for um solemn purpose or for suppose of um sprinkling it on top of um different to say pizarapi or how say pizarapi and all that whenever you're killing an animal there's one energy going out and the only way to dilute that energy is love and eating the blood when you're doing that when you're doing that, the energy you're giving out, whether you like it or not, is pain. Anger. Nobody is happy when life is going through their neck. Anger, pain, hate. And which spirits? Sister, I want an amateur and I'm on video. Now, the only spirits that come to feed off these energies, negative spirits. But when you are done and you cover this blood, you cut off the supply. You cut it off. Blood is very powerful. You cut off the supply by covering it. Not be you go to feed such energies. Because when you feed and finish, they will, get, they will have power, they will have strength. Okay, true, truly, the bad road we have in the 80 percent of accidents that happen in Nigeria is caused by a bad government, bad road, bad this, bad that. That is the truth. But then let's talk about the 20 percent caused by evil spirits. Why are they causing it? They are not causing it because they hate those people. To them, they are living right. You know, this is only bad to us because it, when it doesn't favor us, it's bad. They are not causing it because they hate those people. It's because they need to feed. When they cause that accident, what do you have? Pains. People crying. People wailing. People fighting for their life. That is what you have, and that is what they feed off. And that is what they wanted. That is why they needed to create that scenario for them. Is this that same way you want to chop chicken, you kill chicken? That is the way they feel about killing humans or inflicting pain on humans because they just need to feed towards their bad spirits. Money is Yoku. Low level demons. That is what they feed on. And that is why we do rituals to ward them off our paths. To ward off negative energies on our paths. That is why you say prayers like, may the road not see you when it is thirsty for blood. Spirituality without boundaries. That is why sometimes it is good. Some of those spirits, they are also behind the... They are foot soldiers of the elders of the night. That is why it is good. Greetings, Suchena. Greetings, Joy. And then they go. That is why sometimes 
it is good you do elders of the night ritual once in a while so they can keep them at bay. Then they come out for your road. That's what you wear them again at almost once in a while to remove such spirits from your path. That's even if they want to cause accidents because of you. A whole maybe you know there's 17 inside the bus. 17 people will be saved, maybe just because of you. Because they cannot harm those people without harming you. So that because of you, those people will be left. That is why it is good. Once in a while, a chupa jamusu. Greetings, one name. Greetings, say good the Lord's ways. But some of us are not ready for this competition. It's not everything that is Holy Ghost fire. I never see any spirits where Holy Ghost fire. Or where die. Spirits, they don't die. <laughs> they don't die. So, to like scream die by fire. Energies, they don't die. Because that's one of the laws in physics. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. But they can only be transformed to work from one form to another. And you can transform that energy to favor you with Aja. Offerings, sacrifice. And it can be on your turn. It can be on your turn. If you're someone that has never done a jam was in your life, you don't go doing it by yourself. There's a teaching I've done, it's there on my YouTube, should be here on Facebook too. About simple, simple ones you can do for those that are ready for these conversations. Some of us still believe that we have to scream, die, 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 and the spirits will leave us. We have to say, Get out, out, I bind you, cast you, rebuke. You're playing, it is negotiation. negotiation the only time you are free to cast is when you've done your negotiation you've done what that spirit is needed and they are being overly stubborn for nothing that is when you charge and start casting because you need your phone go when i cast you don't cast when you don't have a phone you can't it's just like your landlord coming to give you tell you to pack out without giving you quick notice you're not going to pack out. You're going to sue him. You won't because according to constitution, eh, Abby, they are supposed to tenants landlord give you at least three months notice for you to start looking for a new place. Either three months or six months. They can't just come out and start telling you to pack out without notice. They have to give you at least three months notice. Three to six months notice before you can pack out. Otherwise, you won't. They can incur more trouble if you know your rights. That is the same way those spirits, you start casting them without actually, they can incur more trouble for you. So you're only free to cast. Greetings, Zubechuku. Okay, in US is 30 days, okay? You're only free to cast if you've done the needful and this person has no rights in your space. Then take charge. This is my house. This is my space. You carry your incense, carry everything. I need you to leave. I live here. You shouldn't live here. And I go. Because by all standards, you are not owing anybody. You paid your debt and you paid in full. Thank you so much for the ice cream, Educi. Educi. So, whether we like it or not, there are good spirits and there are bad spirits. And they are there in oppression many times. The reason I tell people, don't go physical with anybody. Moya can pin murder on you. 
Somebody that is already dead. Working cops. There are people that are working cops. Somebody that is already dead. That is possessed by Mwana Kagoli. They are just moving around looking for trouble. Maybe you dare your own. Oh no, they just come push, push you. Call you a madman, mad woman. Just small pushing where you go push and you don't die. It's a murder case. That is why you should not go physical with anybody. If somebody is pushing you that far, just walk away. Quietly, with all pleasure. You start answering for murder case inside something where you know no. Or they will even be the one that hurts you. And you were just trying to defend yourself and then they end up giving up the ghost. And then start suffering for nothing. Meanwhile, this person already is condemned in the spirits. But because somehow, somehow, you have a loophole somewhere. It is pinned on you. And the next minute, in has a murder case. Why can't he see the Why can he see Say it is not me, it is not my portion. Many a times you are on your own and they come for you. And you don't even know why. That is why we should also learn to be on our own. Why it is like that in Libya is that so many people that are in Libya are illegal immigrants. They don't do that to people that are legal um, migrants or um, legitimate indigents of that place. When you're illegal, people can do anything to you when you're an illegal immigrant in a country. You can even do work and they will refuse to pay you. That's it, you'll be working for them. They want day to one whole month at the end of the day, they, they will not pay you. Why? Because you cannot get a report to the police. Why? Because you don't have papers to do that work. So that is why most of them behave like that. They won't do that to somebody that is from that place. They won't. Because you know that once you go to report anywhere, it is over for you, deportation. That is why they do it. Otherwise, nobody has the right to tell you, except there is something you did. Maybe you killed somebody, or maybe you are a thief, then they can have a legal ground not to want to accommodate you in their property. But otherwise, it's just that they want you out of the house, and then that day, that day. You only leave him because you don't want attention to yourself. If you if you did legit, nobody go do that kind of thing to you. What am I talking about? Spirits, different kinds of spirits. Avoid the urge to keep something in your house and be feeding it blood. Avoid that urge. Any spirits can come and live there and be feeding. <laughs> Any spirits. You brought in one. Any other one can join. Oh, one that can join. They can invite their cousins. Hey, there is food. Ah, yakba. They will bring a host of other people. Greetings, Jureva Diamond. They will bring a host of other people to come and join in the feast. Before you know it, a warm pan, a warm pan, they are moose. And the day you stop feeding them that blood, they are going to do things in your family to help feed themselves. Maybe they can start by killing your child. So you can cry very well so they can feed off the energy. It is not that blood there. It is the pain. You can start by killing your child so they can be able to eat. 
or putting sickness in your family so they can be able to feed or killing your husband so they can they can be able to feed or dealing with your wife so they can be able to feed because there is a loophole people go through demonic possessions in presence of them because there is a loophole that's why i said there has to be a loophole there has to be a level of permission I talked about in the beginning of this video there has to be a level of permission with your lifestyle before they can be able to possess you if you're not on that spectrum if you're not on that level they can't be able to penetrate they can't we are planted up on our own and then i will be so Otherwise, if you're in your house, the way you have a baby, you have plants inside your house, on your body, inside your house. There has to be a level of loophole for that to happen. You have to have a little bit of that spirit in you for the bigger one to see you as kindred and decide to, okay, this will be a good host. And even some spirits have a level of permission to actually torment certain people. I want to get there, That's why I say have, there has to be a level of loophole. If you're not doing good, if you're not doing right by the universe, spirits can also be sent after you to torment you. I'll give you an instance. When I tell you if you're reading the Bible, read it with your sense. When you look at Saul, they said God sent evil spirits to possess Saul, to disturb him, to torment him. And then David will come and sing for him so they can leave him small. That's the only time he feels all right. But the Bible is saying that God sent demons. Now, the universe can actually send those things to you as a way of punishing you for something you did. Because Paul did something to inherit those demons that were tormenting him. He did something for those ones to come to him. So the demon can decide to use them. The, the universe can decide to use them as punishment for certain things. Someone like uh, Auntie Eliza was under punishment. That is why Ojuele is Ushina Gahari. Certain people that are doing all these things, you know, when they so and I make we are mad at me. People can do it to you. People can do it to you, but that's when you are standing alone, when you are not covered. When you when you when your spiritual immunity is low, people can get through to you. And I buy a mother no she buy a mother no walk. If you want, you have an offer or if you work, you have an offer or I remember growing up, one one a kehana beer, one a. One man on our age, and I buy your mother buy. For some people, it's a punishment. For some people, someone did it to them because they are working alone. I will only work on a more. What the more you go? There are some people that they are naked in the spirits. Help me and share this video. There are some people that are naked in the spirits. They are, they are alone in the spirits. Their spiritual family has abandoned them. And every spiritual attack, they are no longer there. Okay, now I'm going to go back to work out here. Their spiritual immunity is low. And they, they've become, they are susceptible to 
vulnerable to these spirits to make it easy for them to possess them. Greetings, Rick Richards. You're welcome, my king. That is simply the way it is. Which is why I was on these streets that they will tell you no lose God. You have to be spiritually alert. And watch out. When someone suddenly starts doing something you don't know them for. You wish you are, you wish I'm your wife. My husband is here watching your age here but will give very soon. Continue witching. <laughs> Continue witching. But I'm not your wife. Greetings, Choke Albez one. Greetings, Engineer Charles. Who <coughs> them? That is where we have to be very careful. We have to be spiritually alert. We have to protect ourselves. We have to guide ourselves. We have to guard our homes. We have to guard our children. We have to guard our families. Every school session, Okan Joketa, every school session, before you send your children off to school, you do protective ritual for your children. Every year, children are dying in school. Bullies. Some of these children that are bullying or that you think they are doing it with their eyes, some of them are possessed. Some of them are possessed by evil spirits, and they don't they don't stop until that child is dead. They are bullying until the child is gone. That's when they realize what they did. That is why you should endeavor every time before you send your children off, before you send your child out to school, you protect them. <laughs> someone you my phone number is there in the beginning of this video I'll call it again when I'm getting close to closing so stay here and wait for it okay okay someone is just saying he was bullied a lot as a child some of these children bullying on that they are not doing it with their clear eye something higher than them is controlling them because it is hungry to feed on those pains. That's why as a parent, protect your children. If they are going to school every, every new session, protect them. Do something for them. Both nursery school, primary school, daycare, secondary school, university. Shabi is university students they killed recently at Ajayi Crowder University. A prince, a warrior prince. From the um, Delta State Abbey. Other students, they, they flogged him from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. Abbey, 10 a.m. to 6 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And he died. We need to pay attention. Greetings, Rao Shed. We need to pay attention. Be careful the kind of rituals you engage in. Because don't know the spirits you are taking home after the ritual. Someone needs to buy an animal for you and they have to pour the blood on top of your head and you're there, they're killing it and they're pouring it. The, you don't know what you're attracting to yourself. And you're in the middle of the water and they are doing that. Hey, times 100, times 1 million. You don't know what you're doing to yourself. We need to be very careful. I'll stop this video here. I think there, there should be a part two to this video. I still have a lot I need to talk about. But for now, dear Messia, you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening ahead of you. Hmm? Dear Messia, me. Please help me and share this video. My phone number remains plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six. Did you get that? Plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six.
plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six. And please, if you're chatting me on WhatsApp, go straight to the point. If you say hi, you will likely not get a response. Hello, you will likely not get a response. You want to say something to me? You don't need to greet me. Just go straight to the point. I totally understand. Because there's no time for greeting inside my inbox. It's always filled up. It's always filled up. So you help me when you actually go straight to the point. You help me when you do that. So I greet everyone that's been helping me by doing that. When you come to my inbox, you go straight. But some people want to say hello. And when you even manage to say hi, they will say good afternoon. You manage to say good afternoon, they will say how are you. After stressing you, they will not say, I want to do after. There is no time for that. There is no time for that. Bikonu. There is no time for that. Eh? You only break me down. That's what you'll be doing to me. Because I still came out to do this teaching. I still know well. I still came out to do it because I needed to do it. So help me to help you. Reduce my workload. Hmm? Cordy, have a wonderful week ahead of you. Have a blessed week. To everyone who tapped into this video, to every hand that shared, I said, Chuku, may Chuku bless you. Hmm? May Okiki continue to bless you. I send out a whole lot of positive energy, positive vibe to you and your family. In your workplace, in all your endeavors, in everything you put your hands in. Nifo wuniti elaka ganiya, koburun gozi ngozi. Hmm? Mwena siya gazeli wuki gazeli wai. May it be well with man and, uh, man and woman, with child and adults. Hmm? With spirits and humans. May it be well with everyone. When I see a gazelle in Chanini, say, 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 say. Bless you too, my king. Bless you too, Queen. Nego, Agnes. You all have a wonderful week ahead. And don't forget to share. Share this video.